Okay, so there's this gas station close to our shop. Oh my gosh. Mm. There's this gas station next to our shop. And the sweet lady works there that home makes all of the food. And uh, today I got, for the first time, her tamales. Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh. Man. What's up guys, Jake here. And last night we got our first load back from California from pollinating almonds. Unloaded them, it was real dark, so obviously can't really get a video when I'm in, a, in the middle of the woods in the dark. But today, we're gonna show you, uh, uh, this is the first time I'll be looking at them in the, in the past month or so. So we're gonna be looking at them, take you guys along for the ride, the first impressions. It's either gonna be good or not good. But before we do that, I'm gonna finish these amazing tamales. Also, so you have a fair warning, our guys that work for us speak Spanish. So if you speak Spanish, I'm sorry. You're gonna hear me speak some really bad Spanish. I apologize. <laughs> I've been in your world. Okay, so as you saw in the videos, we're going through these bees that we just got back from almonds. It has been a tough year, almonds this year. The bees have not had a lot of fly time. It's been cold. They were really worried about them coming back. Wasn't sure what, what they were gonna look like when they got to us. So this is the first morning. We just got this load in last night. Like I said, well, it's, it's noon. It was cold this morning. Um, this is the, our first look to the bees and so far I'm not disappointed. Uh, just going through Varroa numbers right now. We decided to go ahead and put on a Varroa treatment just in case, but that's a zero. May not have even been necessary, but hey, that's okay. It's part of it. So just processing these samples now, the guys are about to give them a shot of feed. Uh, because they came back very light, very light, um, like box weight light, which is kind of as we expected. Also, um, this year I put in, I don't think I mentioned it in any of my videos, but I put a bunch of air tags in our semi loads um, in these little enclosures, little waterproof sticky enclosures. You can see all the wax on the bottom. I just pulled them off, but uh, yeah, I was interested to see how they would work. They're very cheap compared to standard GPS trackers, and I was able to put a lot more of them in each load. That's a one. Uh, and I was curious on how difficult it was gonna be for me to get them back, but it's actually been pretty easy. Uh, just walk around with my phone. I can't really show you because I'm filming with my phone, but walk around with my phone and it picks them up. And once they're picked up, it shows you the distance you are and the direction you are away from them. Um, and it does work through the wood. I'm not gonna tell you where I put them. They're in the hive somewhere where it would have been difficult to spot had they been stolen. The whole reason I did that is because, unfortunately, bees get stolen in California. Um, so that worked out well. Probably gonna get a lot more of them for next year, because they're really cheap. That's a zero. So anyway, good update on that. It worked. 
good update on this first load of bees that we got in. We're getting another one in tonight, which I am going to try to film. Um, it'll be in a different video, but I am going to try to film film that one as long as the driver gets here on time. Zero. So, I'm going to have to watch this video back and figure out what my samples were, but you heard them. Um, they're good. The highest one I had was a three, so that's a 1% level, which is still acceptable. So I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. And we're gonna pack up the Varroa kit. Overall, it's like a good 65 degree day here in Texas. It's cloudy, so it's not super great day to work bees, but whatever, the bees are flying. Uh, looks like they're very happy to be flying. They're looking good. Uh, my average, I just went around and checked some top boxes. I didn't even go in this, the second double deep, but we're at an average of five and a half frames of brood in top boxes. And we run eight frames uh, with a gallon and a half feeder that you probably saw in the video. So overall, we're doing pretty good on brood considering the weather that California had. And yeah, I can't complain. I'm really surprised, honestly. These bees, uh, they're looking pretty good looking pretty good so yeah let's go check out the feeding process again So we got the yard and all the grass around it mowed. You can see we're gonna put the bees here where it's short. My dad hit that with the zero turn and then mowed a bunch of grass around it. And this is just being stored here. We normally wouldn't put, not a house, we normally wouldn't put bees by house, but 
the landowner's storing some storing this here. So we're gonna off the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the like button and comment below if you like the video. Let me know what you think. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment box below uh, about the bees that came back from California and the ones that we're going to continue to get back this week. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.